Hello everyone, this is Venu Gopal. Today in this session, we are going to see a break and continue statements in C programming language. So our topic is break and continue statements. These two are basically, they are the keywords, break and continue. That is the reason why I have written in a small letter. So one by one, we will see First, we will see what exactly mean by a break statement. The name itself saying break means it will break. It is used to break the execution. Simple. It is used to break the execution. Generally, this statement break statement is used within a looping statements looping statements like like for while and do while also it is used in looping statements but with the help of if else statements right only in if else statement it is not going to be used. But if else within this looping statement it is going to be used. Okay. So what is the basic purpose of this break statement is to break the execution as soon as whenever the break is encountered the loop will be terminated. For example, if I will uh, take any of the loop and suppose it has some condition and inside this while loop suppose I am going to check one more condition. if certain condition is true then i want to break this execution like this and inside suppose if i mention like break that means what as soon as this condition will become true as soon as the condition will be become true means first the condition is going to be executed it will come inside this particular block of the while loop then if the condition is true, then it comes inside of this if block. And as soon as it will see this break, it directly throw the cursor outside of this particular loop. So when generally break statement is used to terminate the loop immediately. Any loop immediately. It comes outside of that particular looping structure. Already we have seen this break statement in switch statement. If you want to watch, if you don't want the switch statement, then please watch my uh, previous videos on switch control statement. In that, we have used this break statement. Similarly, we, when we we'll talk about continuous statement, we'll see the program uh, for both the things parallelly. Continuous statement means what? It as this continue statement is encountered as it encounters then it skips the current iteration and jump to next iteration as soon as this continue statement is encountered then what this cursor, this continue cursor will do, it will skip that particular current iteration and jump to the next iteration. That means what? I will tell you. Okay. If we'll take one example, like again, we'll take one, for example, this time I'm taking for loop and suppose condition, I'm not going to write all the uh, initialization, test condition and all that. Okay. And suppose if some certain condition, then and suppose in this if i'll write this continue statement as continue is a keyword so we need to write in a small case letters then how the execution is going to happen in this particular case for loop it checks the condition first then it enters into this for loop body then it checks the condition if this condition is true then again it enter into the if block and as soon as the cursor will see this continue keyword, what it will do? 
it is not going to perform the next operation or anything inside this particular block it directly skip this particular execution and directly shift to the next iteration for example here i is equals to 1 1 is there let us assume right if i equal to 1 then i want to continue this particular iteration then what it will do it directly skip that iteration directly go and it will increment for the next iteration so this is what the difference between break and continue statement in break statement it directly breaks the existing loop and directly come out of that particular loop whereas continue statement will continue the execution but by skipping the current iteration right this will be clear with taking one example we'll take one example for break and continue both suppose here I'll take the program for break first and uh, hash include stdio.h and suppose void main is a function. In C programming, there must be a one function compulsory and that is nothing but it's a main function. Suppose I've taken i and directly I'm taking what i equals to one, i less than equals to Suppose I want to print 10 numbers, right? And I plus plus. Now see. Now inside this, I'm using if condition. Now I want to uh, put one condition. Like if I equal to equal to 5, then I want to break this loop. Whenever my I will become 5, I just wanted to break this particular loop. Or else, or else print f and here i want to print like a slash n i equals to person d now you will come to get a clear idea how this is going to be executed i'll save this program by selecting the c file and here i'll write down the break i will execute this you might have observed the output now. It's printing only from one to four. What happened exactly? Let us see the dry run. I equal to one, one less than equal to 10. Absolutely fine. It comes here. Is one equal to equal to five? No. So it's not going to enter into the break statement, right? into the if block. It directly come outside of this if block and execute the first statement. That is the reason why the first output is one. Then the loop will increment i plus plus that is two again two is not equal to five that means it comes down and print two similarly three four but now when i will become five five is equal to equal to five the condition is true that means the cursor will enter into the if block and it's it's seeing what it's seeing the break the moment it encounters break statement it directly throw the cursor outside of this particular for loop directly here okay that is the reason why after printing one to four we are not able to print the other numbers it's continue it, it directly breaking that particular execution so this is what the use of break statement if i'll do for for example if i want to put here seven so what it will do till one to six it's going to print right as soon as it encounters the encounters the value with seven right it will directly throw the cursor outside of the loop so it will print five six okay so let me check the output see the output it's printing one two seven this is what the use of break statement now in the same program i just want to apply it for continue statement continue now in place of break observe carefully only i am changing to this continue okay I'll remove this output. Now, what continue will do? For example, five again, I will take here. Now, up to one, two, three, four, it will print. Absolutely, right? It's like a previous one only. The moment the condition will become true, like five equal to equal to five, the condition is true. So it comes here at the continue. When it says continue, then what it will do? It will skip the current iteration. So iteration is for what? 
the iteration for five now, but it will skip for five and directly from continue, it will jump to this particular increment of the for loop side. Okay, and it will increment i from five to six, then come down here. And of course, the condition will become false and directly it will print what six, seven, eight, nine and ten. So this is what the continue does. I hope you are getting Chalo, we'll see the output. Then you come to realize what exactly happens. See, I equal to five is missing because that will skip by the continue statement. And but it's not going to be stop the execution at that moment. It continues the execution by shifting to the next iteration. That is what the beauty of continue statement. If I'll put like, if I'll change to this three, for example, so your output would be one, two, it will skip the three. Then the next four, of course, five would be there here now. Let us check. Now see the output. Three would three is not there because we have put there one condition like if I equal to equal to three, then skip that particular iteration, but go for the next iteration. So I hope you have got the idea about the break and continue statement diagrammatically also we have seen here this one and this one this will directly break and but this will jump to the next iteration these two keywords you can say that or these two statements are also called as jump statements you should know because they are jumping this break statement is jumping outside of this loop and this continue is jumping onto the next iteration of the loop. Okay, so that is the reason why it is also called as jump statements. So I hope you have got uh, uh, the clear idea about this break and continue. So we will come up with some more videos uh, in my next uh, video. Till then, keep watching. Bye bye.